Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna look at how we install a hydrostatic valve to our hot tub or our swimming pool. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is a hydrostatic valve. It's a small piece of plumbing kit that screws into the bottom of your bottom drain and it allows, as you can see here on the video, when pressure builds up underneath, it will open up to relieve that pressure. So the whole idea of this hydrostatic valve is that it's gonna release the hydrostatic pressure, which is water that can build up underneath your concrete hot tub or your swimming pool. And especially when you have left it empty for the winter, for example, it can be a problem. If there is too much hydrostatic pressure, too much water, it can actually lift out of the ground. And that's a real problem. It'll cause a huge amount of damage. It'll crack. It, we just want to avoid it. So the whole reason that we install these hydrostatic release valves is to stop that happening. So what happens is when the pressure builds up underneath, the valve, as we've seen, just pops open water enters the tub or the pool from the ground so it's dirty water that we're letting in but most importantly we're releasing the pressure and we're protecting the pool or the hot tub from damage so how do we install one of these little valves as you can see it's quite small i'm going to explain it's easier than you may think now before i do that always a great opportunity to say please do subscribe to the channel Hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts as well. And everything on this channel focuses around DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, and of course, Essos heat pumps as well. Okay, so this little valve is not gonna be installed on its own. It's, uh, it's gonna come with uh, a few other different pieces of kit. So let's take a look at exactly what we need. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is one of these. So this is a bottom drain. It sits right at the bottom of your swimming pool and your hot tub, and it connects to the inward flow, so to the front of your pump, and it will draw water out of the side here. Now, this particular model that I supply has a hole in the bottom here, and the reason that it has this is so we can fit the hydrostatic valve. So the hydrostatic valve itself, it actually goes inside the, the lower drain. So if you can see on the video here, uh, I might be able to do it without looking. No, I've got to look at it. So I can screw that into the base there. This then is gonna sit into your concrete base and the bottom portion is actually gonna have a water collector attached to it. So I'm just gonna screw this in here. Okay, so this whole section is gonna fit into the ground. It's gonna be surrounded, this portion is gonna be surrounded by your concrete and underneath is gonna be your compacted rock. And you might even be going underneath your compacted rock. And if you look at the diagram behind me here, you can see exactly what I mean. So you can see the components that I have here. We've got the actual valve, we've got the lower drain, and we've got the water collector. And you can see just how that sits in relation to the bottom of the pool. So how it works is the water enters through the collector as the pressure builds up, if need be, inside of our lower drain here. The valve can open, it lets water into the drain. If there's more than that's in the bottom drain, it does enter to your pool, but most importantly, it protects that pool or that hot tub from the water pressure, from the damage and from you know being lifted out of the ground if you have a lot of pressure or a really high water table. So it sounds really complicated, but hopefully as I've shown on this video, fitting one of these is pretty straightforward. You're gonna put it into the ground, you're gonna pour your concrete base around it, and your hydrostatic valve simply screws into place in the bottom drain as we've seen. Now, hopefully you found this short video useful. Of course, if I can help you in any way with your own DIY plunge pool or hot tub, please do get in touch. I appreciate the view. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.